I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I'm looking at Rangers is, is 11. And I'm looking at Celtics and I'm thinking, I'm not too sure whether Rangers have them explosive front players like Celtic have. I know Ryan Kent's been very good. But you look at Chota, you look at Abada, the first thing they do when they get the ball is go forward. Um, they're on the front foot. They, they want to create. They want to get a cross in. You know, the, um, and, and then you look at the midfield players, the likes of O'Reilly. And, you know, everything is sharp, quick, snappy. Um, they come out, they, they, high, they press high. Rangers can win games different ways. You know, Lundstrom at the weekend got the winning goal. Tillman's goal was magnificent. Yeah, He's, yeah. Uh, you know, it left the defence from Motherwell a little bit to be desired, if that I'm honest. That was a fashion goal, wasn't but it? But it was yeah. still a Solo. really good run yeah. and, and no one, he showed trickery and then he had the composure to finish. Motherwell will be really disappointing that nobody actually Tackle. got a foot in. Mm. So, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, as I said, Rangers have done very well in, in recent times, obviously the Europa League final and I still think that Giovanni Van Broekers is still is still trying to get his best eleven out there on a consistent basis and finding a way and and a system like Tom Lawrence started the first five or six games, got himself three or four goals. He's currently out of the team, um, you know. So look at Morelos as well, different player, different player um, to Cholak in terms of he'll come off, he'll drag the he'll drag a defender with him. Yep. Cholak is your ultimate focal point as a number nine. So I still think that, you know, when you watch Celtic play, they have um, they they have a way of playing. You look at them and thinking, Eric's looking at them thinking they want to go and attack. With Rangers, I just I'm just not sure whether they've got that going for them quite just yet. Craig, yeah, they're just agree. They're two different yes. styles. It's clearly two different styles at this moment in time. Uh, Celtic are very direct, high energy, uh, with and without the ball. Uh, whereas Rangers are a little bit um, in terms of build-up, in terms of in possession, they're, they're they're probably a little bit well. They are slower in terms of getting the ball into those forward areas. They kind of develop and, and then want things to happen, um, you know, through maybe overloads. Uh, but it's not it's not straight at the heart of a defence. Uh, and then and then defensively, uh, again, you know, Giovanni Ange Postecoglou, any coach also wants their players to be able to work hard without the ball. Mm. Um, that's very, very important. The, the important part is, Paul, because you put pressure in, in good areas, right? You win the ball in good areas, you're nowhere near as far to, to goal. So that's why it's so important. Where If you can press uh, teams high up and you get that success uh, of winning the ball, you're, you're there, you're in the area, you're, you're able to score goals. Celtic are very, very good mm. at that. That's clear in the, in the style of play that, that Celtic have. Rangers, due to injuries, due to form, Due to confidence. Due to signings or not signing? Well, again, not all the signings. There's been injuries yeah. to some of the signings, which is sometimes that's, you know, you're a little bit unlucky in terms of getting players on the field and keeping them fit. That's just part and parcel of the, of the business. And some of them, um, yeah, Matondo, for in, example, in, it's not really happened, no, is it? He's, he's been in and out yeah. again. So, you know, we were talking, um, I was talking to John there about Jack and Marcus and whether or not he's going to start this yeah. game uh, against Motherwell. Now, if you're a striker and you're starting matches and you're you're scoring goals, how disappointed are you when you don't then get that opportunity to go and start and to score more goals? But it comes yeah. on the back of rhythm and confidence. Games. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a word. Yep. Fluency. Fluency, yeah. yeah. I think when you watch Celtic yeah. at their back, they're very fluent. Everybody knows what their roles are in the team. Not to say Rangers. Rangers find a different way of winning. As Craig said, they're two very different types of teams with different formations, with different type of players who've got their own yeah. brand of what they want to do. Um, but I just think when both teams are playing really well, I think people like to watch the fluency of Celtic, the way they drill the ball and get it into the box. And they've got them passes, you know, that can really make an impact.